Hmm. All right, well, let's see what I can do. Okay. Good, good, good. How's it going, everyone? Uh, my name is Miguel Fuentes, and today is Wednesday, August the, uh, I think, this, the 15th, I think. And uh, today we're going to do something different today. Today we're going to be uh, looking at some, uh, the world of, of animals. <clears throat> and we know for a fact that God created animals in Adam had a job to name the animals and so before we get into this let's go ahead and pray and then yeah let's get in, get into this Heavenly Father Lord we just uh, thank you Lord for today thank you Lord for all that you have done thank you Lord for all that you are doing Lord we thank you for the new month a new Hebrew month of uh, of Av and Lord, we just we just thank you for what you have done in our lives, and we praise you, we glorify you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. All right. So today's topic, we're going to be understanding zoology. All right. If I can. There. All right. So what is zoology? Zoology is the study of animals, basically. It also refers to animal biology. The, you know, it really studies, uh, you know, includes the structure of, of uh, you know, the structure of the animals, how, how they move, how, how their, you know, anatomy and physiology of this uh, being. Uh, embryo. Ology with study of embryos, uh, different classification which which we'll get into later, the ecosystem, the habitats, the dis the distribution of all animals, both living and extinct. There are several uh, branches branches of zoology. There's ecology, which is the study of animal behaviors. Uh, ecology, which is the, the, the ecosystem, basically. Um, invertebrate zoology, vertebrate zoology, and etc. And there are some uh, branches of, of zoology that deals with uh, certain specific types of animals. You know, we, we got uh, scientists who study insects. We got we got scientists who study fish. We got scientists who study uh, um, invertebrate and uh, sorry, uh, who study uh, you know um, amphibians and reptiles and just name a few. So what is in, uh, invertebrate uh, zoology? Uh, invertebrate zoology is the study of animals without a backbone or without bones in general. Uh, this this uh, class of animals is a majority of the whole world, nearly 95%. And there's about at least 66 billion species around the world. And there are at least 40 major groups that, that that make up the invertebrate zoology or the invertebrate uh, animals. For example, we got cuttlefish, scorpions, as you, as you can see here. Anthropods. Anthropods are the largest groups of invertebrate in the world of today. This includes the spider, the the, uh, the the ticks, the scorpions, the crustaceans, centipedes, millipedes. Insects are a very interesting invertebrate creatures. For example, like butterflies, moths, beetles, ants, bees, wasps, true bugs, true flies, uh, fleas, and etc. <clears throat> 
I'm gonna grab some water here. Now, I eat, uh, now these anthropods, they're they're classified differently. And so, for example, we got um, arachnids, and arachnids are a very interesting class uh, in nature. You know, this this group or this class feather includes spiders, includes scorpions, ticks, mites, harvestmen, whip scorpions, and etc. Uh, for example, you know, we, we see the uh, black water spider, or the red back spider, or the deer tick, or the jumping spider, just to name a few. Okay, we got crustaceans. Crustaceans are the class, includes, you know, the crabs, the lobsters, the crayfish, the woodlice, krill. Carapods and barnacles, for example, blue crabs, spider crabs, fiddler crabs, just to name a few. Now, these are very, very interesting. Uh, yes, corals, sponges are, in fact, animals. These are the class of uh, Celadon, if I pronounce it right, which includes you know, corals, sponges, jellyfish. Uh, cone jellyfish, etc. Just to name a few: comb, comb uh, jellyfish, box jellyfish, uh, manatees, man of war, the lion mage, uh, lion, uh, sorry, the lion mage jellyfish, and etc. Next, we have the class of uh, uh, mollusks. You know, and these. These class are included, you know, the clams, the squids, the octopus, snails, slugs. A uh, good example of these are the blue ring octopus, cuttlefish, and a giant squid. Other invertebrates. We see worms like uh, night crawlers if you use for bait, uh, red worms, uh, blood worms, starfish. Um, brittle stars and, and all these things, sand dollars, all these things, uh, horseshoe crabs, you know, is a good example of other invertebrates that, uh, that are in the world. So, what is invertebrate, sorry, vertebrate zoology? Um, now, I took this class in high school. Uh, very, very interesting. Uh, vertebrate zoology is the study of animals with a backbone. These classes include fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. First off, we have the fish. Uh, these fish has three classes. This includes the jawless fish, the uh, the college fish and the bony fish. Jawless fish includes the hagfish, the lamprey. Uh, college fish includes sharks, rays, skates, and chimeras. Uh, bony fish are there. There are two different subgroups. One is a ray fin, and the other one is a lobe fin fish. And also, I did catch uh, fish today. Um, I did catch uh, n uh, nine fish, uh, eight channel cats, and one bluegill. So, example of these things are uh, the lionfish and the hammer and the uh, hammerhead shark. Uh, there are some freshwater species like the blue catfish, which I caught earlier this year. A very, very interesting animal. And I caught the uh, bluegill, well, the picture of a bluegill, which I caught a lot in this uh, creek that I live at. Amphibians. These class includes frogs and toads, salamanders and newts, and uh, I can't pronounce that. So there are at least 
8,000 species in the world, and these tasks can metamorphosis from tadpoles into full-grown adults. Uh, some species have a defense mechanism, like the cane toad. So the cane toad has a toxin that is very toxic to the prey, uh, so the, the predator, basically. Like snakes and dogs, you know, it's, it's very, very toxic. Or the uh, poison arrow frogs, they're very, very uh, poisonous. Um, even just a small drop can kill nine human beings. Good example. Uh, we got the uh, the red eye tree frog and the uh, axnol, if I pronounce it right. Now I forgot to mention uh, some species are aquatic, like uh, some species of uh, salamanders, uh, such as the uh, hellbenders or the New River water dog, um, for examples. They uh, they uh, be there, you know, underwater, basically. Reptiles. One of my favorite classes. Uh, these class includes uh, sorry, uh, turtles and tortoises, lizards, snakes, uh, uh, tuga, and crocodilians. There are at least 12,000 species in the world today. We got two two examples: uh, a chameleon and a uh, land tortoise. Uh, uh, sometimes a uh, species of tortoise. Moving on, the birds. Birds are very, very interesting. Uh, these class of birds are very interesting animals. From hum is small as a hummingbird to as large as a ostrich. And most species can be very colorful in nature. So there's about 10,906 species in the world today. They are warm-blooded feather animals that can be, you know, be fly or fightless, such as the penguins and the uh, and the fightless birds like kiwi and stuff like that, which is very very interesting. <clears throat> Oops. For example, we got the uh, scarlet maca uh, macaque and the uh, and the wood duck, part of the waterfowl. And uh, let me know down below if you want to um, have a deep detail of each of these groups that I mentioned. Uh, just give me you know ten likes if you want to see that. Mammals, the last part. Uh, this class has 6,400 species with 29 orders. From great apes, elephants, to rodents, they are everywhere. You know, we see squirrels in the, in, the, in the streets. We see deers in the woods. We see bears in the woods. Um, they're, you know, mammals are everywhere. For example, you know, we got, you know, the walrus, and we got a, uh, a rhino. Even whales is the largest of the mammals that we have on Earth today. Uh, the blue whale is uh, the largest mammal that, that is ever recorded. So, before we close, uh, this is just a brief... A brief uh, study of of zoology and nature. Now, I am a creationist. My uh, creationism point of view is that I am a born again believer who uses science to prove the existence of God, and I believe that God created all things according to Genesis chapter one. I believe that 
that people, human beings, are not apes or primates, as they say. But we are made into the image of God. Evolution has been debunked so many times is that, you know, that the the theory of evolution is a false theory to brainwash the, the society that there is no God, which there is a God. And I encourage you today to repent and to believe the gospel today. Amen. That's it. That's all I got for today, folks. Hope you enjoy this uh, study together. Uh, I I created this uh, PowerPoint, you know, just to test things out. You know, whenever I do uh, subjects like these, um, maybe studying, um, you know, diff diff different things. So, again, uh, you know, comment down below what what you think about it. Um, May God bless you. May God keep you. I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.